Carajo. Hello my Gemini friends, it's Scotty Halo. I hope you're all doing well. Let's find out what's coming in for you guys, money, career, finance for, um, yeah, April, that's it. Oh, the lovers. Well, there's your energy, loud and proud, as they pick up all the cards off the floor. So, I think you guys might be dropping something, a circumstance, a situation, a person, place, an event, I don't know, whatever, that makes you feel like you've absolutely had a victory. So intimate relationships, carefully weigh your decisions, good health. Making decisions about what you want could create some conflict. Competing goals, bothersome details, conflict with others. I think if you have, it's almost like you can't have everything. That's how you feel or that's how someone's making you feel. And so they're making you choose. And the problem with that is, is they can't change your heart. They can make you choose all they want, but they cannot change your heart. Keep that in mind. Apparently it's important for someone to hear. Great strength. It's going to take great strength to make this decision. Or great strength and courage. Whatever it is you're facing here. Run a face. The Wheel of Fortune. Time. It's time. It's like I'm really feeling in April you start to realize it's time. Something ends. Something needs to end in order for the new to come. Nine of Cups. A contract coming your way. The Wheel of Fortune. It's been about divine timing. It makes you incredibly happy when you're able to move forward with it. And then there's an opportunity or good news about finances coming in. Someone going, taking you for coffee, saying, hey, did you hear about this thing? This is really cool. Maybe you should start this new venture. Maybe you should think about doing this. Think about doing that. But it could very well bring you in contract with a purpose that is here on this life for you to handle or to do. But it's going to take courage to step into. Deciding possibly for some of you between a mate and a lover. So now we have, this is going to create conflict, of course, because we usually when something beautiful comes in, you know, then we have the conflict, you know, as opposed to what we can actually do right now, as opposed to what we want to do right now. Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, been coming up in your readings forever. So trying to build solid foundation financially, conflict over some things that have happened with this said person, uh, conflict around... Uh, how long it's taken for this to all come to light this truth the last reading I did about what spirit wants you to know is truths coming out so there's going to be conflict someone's trying to dredge up over the past could be legal legal legalities involved so an opportunity coming in that will take some time to build I would even say take some time to heal based on past on the past take time to heal the energy within yourself there's conflict around this for sure king of wands taking the bull by the horns Woo, man it's like it could be about entrepreneurship seeing things very clearly cutting out the crap and saying i'm moving in this direction you're either on board or you ain't because i am not giving up so i, I want to say that i feel like you're giving someone an ultimatum or they're giving you an ultimatum there could be the possibility of loss based on that decision. However, it's time to make the decision and it is going to take courage and strength for sure. A wish granted will come out of it. There's something, the divine, two people, two circumstances, something the divine's trying to bring together here. You are protected from all types of harm. The worst is now behind you. I ask you to relax and feel safe. I am the angel of abundance. You will receive the money that you need and God is in charge of how that will happen. So if you're looking for investors or that type of thing, it will all be coming towards you. I, I hear you saying to somebody, yeah, but I still don't see your point. Or it's taking too long for you to make your point. And your point is... And it's the same old thing. It's like, nope, sorry, heading towards the new. What is this uh, about in the central energy? 
moving forward at a fast pace. It could be dealing with a cancer or the cancer is in the midst of things. There's someone hopping in their vehicle, moving towards something very quickly or wanting to, to create change. There's, there's some sort of apprehension, I feel, or fear surrounding that, trying to find balance in your emotions. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, not telling everybody the truth of what your heart feels, holding back somewhat, because it's like you've got you to find your center, is what I'm getting. Keeping everything balanced while emotional things happen. A new job opportunity, the opportunity to really step into doing something that you love, to put your own personal stamp of approval on your work and on your life. We all have that right. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles, please. Queen of Pentacles. Some nefarious nonsense going on here. Getting out while the getting's good. Someone had a lie, there's that lie, based around a Queen of Pentacles energy. Tell me about this other Pentacles. Huh. Could be the mother of your children going inward. Someone who's very wise or has become very wise. Could be that the mother of your children is becoming very wise to some sort of nefarious thing that's happened in the past. Queen of Swords. <sighs> Finding, uh, getting a lawyer has something to do with children, marriage, mother figures, King of Wands new opportunity look at that how beautiful is that brand new new home new job new life new you new something coming in i think you're starting to see the truth about a commitment you've had either to a mother or to a figure in your life great strength accepting a gift of time money or effort the wheel of fortune comes in makes you incredibly happy this is beautiful it all turning in your favor who doesn't love that great then we have the Eight of Wands coming on the Nine of Cups. This is like a double wish granted. It's like one thing happens and a cascade of beauty comes into your life. A sudden event, all of a sudden good news comes in. Things start moving at a fast pace. Delays are over. It's time to get a move on it. What's the Page of Pentacles about, please? Page of Pentacles about, please. What is that about? Celebration. Going out and having more fun. Whatever this communication is that comes in, definitely going to put an end to the mental confusion you've been dealing with the things you've been going through here one more message from the divine please for my gemini friends one more message from spirit for my gemini friends adversity see the gifts and challenge one can be taught within the calm but the greatest lessons are learned from the storms so there's some sort of storm that's coming and it's coming on the heels of a gift straight to you from the divine. It is going to cause chaos and change and movement and it could very well have some implications for a marriage. Something, some lies or something that came out may have implications for a marriage. Wonder, I think, feel like somebody is wondering if they can actually make a go of it on their own. Take your, taking your heart, trying to find balance between the shadow side and light side of yourself. Has too much water gone under the bridge is what I'm hearing. Can I go back or should I just move forward? Can I go back or can I just move forward? Six of Wands. Either way, it'll be a victory. So it doesn't matter whether you go back or you go forward. Either way, it's a victory because there's some sort of standing and being and living in your truth here. With the lovers this is a contract somebody that divine is contracting you to be with very well could be the empress mother of your children i'm not saying go back to the mother of your children i'm just saying there could be a soul commitment here a contract between maybe could even be the boss or a wife or a mother uh, somebody who is pregnant that is you are stepping into a job to fulfill or feel something and it could be a long-term commitment but this here with the lovers this is about two coming together in this card two coming together having a victory and the victory is what this beautiful new start that could very well bring about the end of a different cycle the problem with that is is it can be painful it really can be painful to end cycles sometimes that portal opens someone could be giving birth to a child and you have a soul contract 
with this child that's coming into the world. And this child in some way, shape or form is a huge victory. In time, you'll realize that it helped end that cycle. It's almost like this child is a bridge in some sort of way for you. Okay. I love you guys. Hope it resonates. Talk to you again soon.